But away from security, Upper West Regional Minister Dr. Hafiz bin Sali has thrown his support behind traditional authorities who have clamped down activities of persons engaged in burning of charcoal. He argues that the effects of climate change necessitate a paradigm shift and exhorts locals to follow responsible environmental practices. Ghana has experienced a 1.0 degree Celsius increase in temperature since 1960. Greater warming was occurred in the drier northern regions of Ghana than in the southern region. The northern sector is therefore thought to be the most vulnerable to climate change, which will have detrimental effect on land tenure, agriculture, water resources, and commodity value chains. The Upper West continues to be one of the worst affected with a single rainy season lasting from May to October. The amount of rainfall recorded annually varies between 750 millimeters and 1,050 millimeters of rain. Guinea savannah woodlands are interspersed with grasslands, which make up the majority of the vegetation. Trees that can withstand drought, like the acacia, baobab, shernard, dawadawa, mango, and neem trees in the area have come under severe attack by charcoal burners. Some chiefs were forced to outlaw the practice due to its effect on the environment. We have banned the burning of charcoal in our traditional area using share and dawadawa trees. And anyone caught in the act of farming share and dawadawa trees for charcoal burning shall be sanctioned with punitive measures. The Upper West Regional Minister says the action by the traditional authorities is commendable. I highly commend him and all others for their bold in initiative taken to protect our environment and assure him of the government's support to enforce the ban. He urged a paradigm shift while bringing up the effects of climate change on the populace. The importance of trees for the survival of all living organisms cannot be underestimated. These include the purification of the air through the absorption of carbon dioxide and the provision of oxygen through photosynthesis, which every human organism needs to survive. Upper West Regional Manager of the Forestry Commission, Godfred Kwashiga, urged the people to engage in tree planting. We planted over 630,000 tree seedlings throughout the region last year, thereby exceeding our target of 600,000 tree seedlings with a survival rate of 80%. Now on to some more stories and news.